Hmm. Giving it a moment to get going here there. Hi there, everybody. I am uh, Jason Bullman. I'm the director of game design at Paizo and uh, creator of the Pathfinder role-playing game. But I'm also a really big fan of Call of Cthulhu. And I'm just making sure everything is up and running here. Oh yeah, looks like we're up. Very good. <laughs> All right. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to my playthrough of the Call of Cthulhu. I am uh, super excited to give this game a try. It uh, is a game I've been looking forward to ever since I saw the first trailer. I don't know a lot of what to expect, although this uh, graphic over here is giving me a pretty good idea. So uh, let's get started, shall we? As you can see, I've done absolutely nothing in this game. I literally downloaded it last night. I haven't started one minute Boston, 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case to lift him from his torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. Pierce is my name. Speaking of liquor, by the way, tonight I'm going to be enjoying a, a very fine Talisker 18. It's one of my favorites. And uh, hopefully I won't drink too much of this while we're playing, but uh, we'll see how much the madness gets to me. That's... that's fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
uh, true to Call of Cthulhu form, it starts you off with some sort of wicked nightmare. That's what I'm hoping this is. It didn't just start me out in the middle of a shark butchering cave. Okay, well, now I've learned something. Take that, Agents of Cthulhu. I know how to interact with things now. I can press E. A bolt cutter. Aha! Uh -huh. See? Progress. I'm making progress. Butchering cave. That's what what are you treat offering? Oh, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh man. I am not pleased. Don't fight. You have been chosen. Hey there, folks. How's the, uh, how's the, uh, how's the, uh, sound quality and everything? You guys let me know if the, uh, if the sound quality or the video quality fades at all. Please let me know. I, I can't really tell. Uh, I'm just watching chat, so, uh, I hope this is not too terrifying for all of you as it is for me. Behold. Everything has already been written. That's... You will attempt to change your destiny. <laughs> All these people. No, uh uh. <laughs> Consult my diary. <laughs> That's nice. Oh man. All right. This is what uh, Pierce has uh, going for him right at the moment. A little bit of eloquence, a little bit of spot hidden, some strength, some investigation, some psychology. This is the skill system. I guess the five of these you can upgrade uh, as you gain levels. Uh, these two you can only upgrade by reading books, so we'll see how that goes. Um, oh, do I have points to spend? I might. No, I have zero. All right. 
my sanity. Oh boy. So, unsurprisingly, this Call of Cthulhu game features a very robust sanity system. Um, it, uh... I notice I... <laughs> <laughs> oh good. I hate whiskey. <laughs> Let me consult my diary. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. Oh man. All right. This is what uh, Pierce has uh, going for him right at the moment. A little bit of eloquence, a little bit of spot hidden, some strength, some investigation, some psychology. This is the skill system. I guess the five of these you can upgrade uh, as you gain levels. Uh, these two you can only upgrade by reading books, so we'll see how that goes. Um... Oh, do I have points to spend? I might. No, I have zero. All right. My sanity. Oh boy. So, unsurprisingly, this Call of Cthulhu game features a very robust sanity system. Um, it, uh... I notice I have a lot of unlocks here. That's, that's good, I'm sure. What could possibly go wrong? So it looks like Pierce starts out with a bit of PTSD. Uh, in the form of nightmares. Um, that's always a good way to start your Call of Cthulhu. It's a closed case. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Oh, sure. None of that will come in handy later, I'm sure. <laughs> Oh, I can't turn that music back on. That's too bad. All right. It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Hmm. Well, it seems like I dream to forget. That's... I drink to forget. All right. Well... I mean, we're here, aren't we, so... Phone's still ringing. Might as well answer that. I'm listening. Investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sharafield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Ah, you get to do a bit of customization. Well, that's a cute way of doing it. All right, so I can increase my spot hidden, my eloquence, my strength, my investigation, or my psychology, and it looks like I have eight points available. And, oh, it's a grading scale. Two, four, six, six, four. All right, I only have eight. Getting my spot hidden up. Ooh, that is not cheap. Oh, actually, sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. Two, four, six, six, six. All right, so if I raise spot hidden up, definitely need your spot hidden up a little. I mean, there we go. Up to three, that's good. Oh. Psychology? That's how you survive, but, uh... <laughs> I don't need that. That's ridiculous. Um... <laughs> Investigation or eloquence, that's where I need to go. Um, 6 CP for next level, 4 CP for next level. Let's go with investigation. Having that up at 4 seems really useful, huh? Mm. 
see if we can get that eloquence up. I think the levels are going to be really useful. I'm not sure how this works in this game. I see that I have percentages, but I don't actually know how those are going to overall infect my playthrough. So, let's get my professionalism, or my investigation up here a little bit. There we go. And we'll see what we can do about that. I see some folks asking about how frequently I'm going to play this game. I'm not sure. It depends on how much fun I have playing it and how many people I get to watch it. So far, uh, seems pretty good for those of you watching. There's uh, looks like three people in the stream right now, so hi there, everybody. Uh, the more the merrier. So uh, we'll uh, go with that. Thank you for this information, Mr. Pierce. Our files will soon be up to date. Oh, good. And on a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still... I'm coming! Mr. Pierce doesn't want serious cases. He only wants a bunch of crazy insanity. He's seen things, man. He's seen things. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. <laughs> you talking to You're me? You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody uh. believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The oh, painter? No. Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. <laughs> Uh, do I, do I have to? What am I supposed to find? Tell me, tell me if this is the work of madness. <laughs> or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right, I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Oh boy. All right. Well, <laughs> is this a work of madness? Is this a Call of Cthulhu game? Because <laughs> I think I know what the answer is. <laughs> oh boy. What's this symbol? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. Oh, good. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Everyone uh, paints nightmarish things in Call of Cthulhu games. That's how this works. All right. So, funny part is, my uh, partner uh, happens to have the same last name as Hawkins, so uh, I will be needling her about the fact that I am 
clearly investigating her untimely demise uh, here shortly. So that should be fun. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. All right. So we got a marriage clipping from the island of Darkwater. A fire that occurred on the island that killed everyone. And a shipping label to a warehouse on Darkwater. That's not a lot to go on. I'm sure I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll turn it around to the back. That's better. Now I'm not going insane. That's that's much better. So Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Hmm. I'm not sure if I'm glitching or if I'm just missing something here, but uh, the selecting is not really working out very well for me. Interaction is generally E. Odd. Kind of curious as to what's going on there. if I have a glitch or if something's just not working right because it's not letting me select answers. So I'm wondering if I'm having a bit of... Yeah, I just tried that. That's kind of odd. I'm a little confused as That's to all why you've got. it wouldn't let me uh, select things. I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Yeah. All right. We just did this before. What's the symbol? So that clearly works. Chest. It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. Sure. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Yes. Rather thin. Hmm. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? I don't... The sender's label mentions oh. Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Okay. Well, whatever that glitch was, it was uh, apparently something that solved itself up when I reloaded, because now just a simple left click will allow me to uh, pick the answer. The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. 
It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. Huh. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Hmm. Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Yeah, none of this is good. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Huh. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. <laughs> Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. No, no, you do. You could, you could just take up, like... Darkwater. You know. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Yeah. Let's uh let's toast one to the uh, upcoming madness. This is this is just a bad idea. All right. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this <coughs> book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. Oh, great. So I have a nightmare about a cave filled with whale murder and whale and shark murder, and now I'm being sent off to an island that used to do whale. That's always a good sign. What could possibly go wrong? I think this is a great idea. I don't know why. All I have to problem. do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Oh, good. The learning of medicine. Very important. Oh, there we go. I picked up a little bit of medicine. Just a little. Not much. Looks like the books give you a CP. You can't get them any other way. Alright, so I have Stephen Webster, who uh, is hiring me to go to Darkwater. I have Charles Hawkins, the uh, 
ship owner of the family uh, and husband of Sarah. I have Sarah Darkwater, the painter, who decided to go live on Darkwater from a life of luxury in Paris. And I have Simon Hawkins, the creepy little boy who clearly died in the fire. Yeah, the island of dark water. Great. That's... Oh, it has a medical institution. Awesome! What could possibly go wrong on a creepy island with a medical institution? That's... that's gonna be great. No, I... Uh, that's gonna be fantastic. I don't... I can't see what's gonna go wrong with that. I can't really zoom in, so... I guess the text that I see is the text that I get. Alright. I guess it's time to leave. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. You got out of the office without going insane. Congrats, you've survived chapter one. It's not really saying much. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm heading to the port to make my way to Darkwater. Loading up here quickly. Take a moment to look at what the stream quality actually looks like. So, I've played a lot of Call of Cthulhu over the years, um, like a ridiculously large amount, and uh, we're almost there. It's a pretty typical setup. You've been hired to investigate a murder in a strange and mysterious location, undoubtedly filled with degenerates. It's always filled with degenerates. There we go. <laughs> Degenerate Island. Skyla. Yeah. Mythical sea creatures and goddesses. Great. I don't like it. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. <laughs> Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A ah, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. 
You know what? Go have a drink at the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. <laughs> if it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. Okay. I'm going for a look around the docks. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a look around. It's 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 fine. This is a very nice place. Nice seaside resort villa. Water filled with algae. Bunch of fishermen looking over there. Super murdered whale. Yeah, talking to them would be a great idea. I just had a nightmare about dead whales and sharks, but you know, it'll be fine. Oh, crabs. Oh, good. There are crabs. You can't do that. But it's only a fish. A fish? You've got no idea. Don't badmouth what you don't know. Oh, good lord. Or you'll pay for it for sure. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Step back and let us do our job. <laughs> that's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. He's gonna get us into trouble. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Great. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. So Forget I've it. got Nobody a bunch of anyway. angry That's fishermen no here an on an oh, yeah. island. The same goes crazy for you, stuff. Move and along. They're worried. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? Thanks for watching. I didn't uh, introduce Benedict. myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. Yeah, I'm not sure. Dan, can you uh, can you they see the understand. subtitles down at the bottom of the Damn screen? They are idiots. currently turned on. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. <laughs> Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters! You're Only crazy! Only a specialist would know what they murdered the hell Damn out of that whale. <laughs> Forget it. Nobody hmm. Is that because the, uh, the image is cropped? Can you see all of my, uh... I'm not sure, I've got a question of whether or not folks can see subtitles. Dan, can you see all of the, uh, title logo for uh, Call of Cthulhu over on the right and my, uh, portrait over on the left with space around it? What did he call us just now? I said you were a bilge rat! And even a... a There's nothing for you here me. either. You think Beat we it. don't know what you're doing? <laughs> Hidden in the fog? <laughs> I'll shut up your big mouth once and for all. Well, the locals don't like to talk to me. That's that's nice. I think I'm going to start at the bar. That seems like the right Prohibition moment. is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Well, that's not really too much of a shock. Prohibition in a Call of Cthulhu game has always been kind of a joke. <laughs> that and inability to get dynamite. God, I hope I can get dynamite in this game. Amen. 
mysterious Let's get him one. another drink. He's dry. And so am I. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Wait, what? Yet you've served this man, and you can't say he's been on his best behavior. He's a regular. It was you who provoked him by turning up with your mainland manner. That is true. You mistake my manner. I ask nothing more than to become a regular as well. Which will be difficult if you refuse to serve me. <laughs> I hope you're less talkative when you're drunk. You try me. <laughs> we'll <I am>. see. <laughs> I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. Mm. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Oh, good. Screams? And that's not all. Oh, boy. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Uh... What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland, for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah, well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. Mm. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Her vision, was it so terrible? The way mm. I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. Oh, great. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? I do. <laughs> I've got what I need. Anything else? The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. You want a drink? Yes. I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. Ah, a little bit of the brown. I think we'll get along well. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Yeah, it makes me wonder if I'm having some sound lag, actually, from the stream, but, uh, hopefully, uh, it's not too That'll bad. That'll be all for now. It does make me wonder one thing real quick. Oh, I see what part of my problem is. Part of my problem is that my screen is way oversized. There we go. Looks like I had a bit of a problem with the screen size fitting my broadcast size. My mistake. 
Looks like in my setup for this, I accidentally screened out the size too big that you weren't getting any of the subtitles, so that all should be fixed now. Sorry about that. For the first part of this, it was a bit of a problem. He said, you have no right to treat us like this. And the doctor, what did he Yeah, the edges were significantly off. My god. Wait, what? <laughs> what were these crazy people talking about? Oh god. She will do it again, you know. What? Oh, the girl, Doctor. Cold. She won't stop asking. Not that again. Oh, boy. Oh, hey. Hey. Creepy guy with stuff carved into your hands reading a mysterious book. Hi. Hi, buddy. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations. Nope. Gifted with its own consciousness. Until it finds a new reader. No. No. Uh uh. No. Do you like our song? No. <laughs> not. We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. Oh, great. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. Hmm. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. It's a local legend? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? Yeah. We're the proof. Oh, yeah. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. What report? The one that's framed right behind you. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. Yeah. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Yeah. Good night, stranger. So long. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. Ah, that was the ship that was wrecked out front. Wow. Oh, good. So they caught, they caught some nightmare whale. It destroyed their ship. And a whole bunch of people ate it. As a matter of fact, the whole, t the whole island ate it. Weird, mysterious super whale. Good. That's good. Well, that's... that's great. And the doctor, what did he say? Ah, that's it! Maybe we should let him take it. No. No, the risks are too high. It's a book, after all. Pure knowledge. Algernon Drake may not be all with us. He, uh... He seems a bit... a bit lost. Is it were? Yeah. The mysterious woman who caught my eye upon entering. Hello. What you looking at, stranger? I've rarely seen a woman who can hold her liquor so confident. I, I. What have, gives actually. you the right to judge me? <laughs> ah, it was a compliment. So what? Let me drink, stranger. Yeah, fair. Yeah. I told you to beat it. 
Oh, well, she is now uninterested in talking to me. I told you to beat it. All right. Hey, mysterious guy back here. All right, you don't want to talk either. All right, that's fine. Well, that door is locked. It's it's fine. All right. Well, I've uh, had a drink. She will get us into trouble. All right, bunch of creepy people doing creepy things. Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker and a debtor. Interesting. Oh, this is their <laughs> this is their uh, debt list. That's that's nice. Who owes money to the bar? <laughs> I don't know. I'm wondering if they kept a public list of like that at most bars that I attend. It would be a serious problem. <laughs> Lanterns always emit strange green smoke in your town. I'm gonna wager the answer is yes. Well, the atmospherics here are certainly nice. This town looks uh, delightful. A real vacation stop. Oh, all right. That's fine. I didn't want that door open anyway, so there. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. Am I? When you're done, come join me on the deck. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. Huh. Interesting. Never mind me, I'm just going to look through your stuff. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. Half? That's giving it a bit of credit. This place seems almost entirely abandoned. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. But that's all I'll get from them. Hmm. Problematic. The Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. From their delicious whale catch. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. Back when they used to catch whales. Now they just think about it. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. Ah, I've learned more medicine. No, oh, that was 2%. That was not much medicine. I learned a scant amount of medicine. 2% is enough to understand how a band-aid works. I'm sure that'll help me in Call of Cthulhu. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. I appreciate the fact that the man downstairs just lets me wander around his place without asking a single question. He's just like, yeah, go upstairs, dig through my shit. <laughs> What a macabre souvenir. What a macabre souvenir. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on just a second. What a macabre souvenir. A macabre? <laughs> what a macabre souvenir. Oh boy. <laughs> Very macabre. Oh, come on. Pronunciation isn't that hard. I 
have found your toilet. Alright. This is going to be the place I hide later. Right in here. When, when things go bad, I'm just going to come in here and hide in the toilet. No one will catch me here. It'll be fine. It's my secret place. My secret toilet. Out here... Doesn't look like much of anything. Just the kind of wraparound porch. And our creepy guy. Hey there, creepy guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't think macabre is the right pronunciation of that particular word. Macabre? Macabre? Maybe? <laughs> but macabre? <laughs> oh well you can't get them all right. Maybe it's a maybe it's an East Coast thing. From here I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these war rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell me what I can do to help you. To take me home? Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I... I mean, maybe... I know that Charles Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners, and the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling, but no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get what? its money? I don't... Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although, these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. With whom, I wonder? <laughs> yeah, don't we all? <laughs> so, in 1856, they had uh, a miraculous catch, and then no whalers went out since. Yet, there is a nightmarish whale out there... On the wharf. I was looking at your photograph. One of the men in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Ah, uh, your pig your like dad. John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it. If you're interested. Oh boy. So this guy's dad hunted the miraculous catch that fed the entire town, and then no whalers went out after that. Nothing. Nothing unusual about that. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Yeah, aren't you? <laughs> Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. They yeah, don't. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other? You're talking about mythology. Ha, <laughs> indeed, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> In a Call of Cthulhu game? No, that seems far-fetched. <laughs> the police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have it. kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. Yeah... Private detective arrives on island, tells people to keep dead whale carcasses. All of this makes sense. I found a threatening letter, signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. 
Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. But she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. Huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I like how you could pay protection money on an island this terrible. Like, we're gonna make it worse on you. We're gonna cover everything with barnacles, including your scrotum. The Miraculous Catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. Yeah. Welcome to the stream. Uh, is that Matt? Hey there, Matt. Welcome. Did you say afternoon? Oh, that's right. You're over in, uh, what was it, Singapore? From uh, the stream the other night, right? I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Is it, uh, Understood. Really big you one? You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. All right. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. <laughs> Thank you, Krusty Sea Captain. I appreciate our talks. They are most fruitful. They're not. I have two character points available. That's nice. Looks like I've gained a, a little bit of uh, advancement here. Let's, let's put a little bit in some strength. Let's get some spot hidden up to 45%. That's nice. The more the merrier. Alright, so we've got Roy Mitchell, the owner of the Stranded Whale, and we've got James Fitzroy. That's good to know. Here in Chapter 2, we've got uh, some clues here that I may have to look at a bit. Warehouse for Rent, special evening at the Stranded Whale. So, everybody gets a bite of the strange, mysterious super whale. What a fucking terrible idea these people have. Hey everybody, we caught some giant monster weird whale out in the water. Everybody come eat it. It's at this point in time that we realize that I have no actual trust for fisher folk. <laughs> Mysterious guy taking it easy up on the wharf. Where do you think you're going? I thought that the Hawkins case had been closed. That's true. So what are you doing on guard duty in front of this warehouse? <laughs> Who's asking the questions here, the cop or the tourist? I'm frankly kind of surprised this town even has a cop. I mean... It's a dead whaling town. <laughs> Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? Oh, we're on the same team. Let's let's try that. Ah, hold the test on. What's the difference between a police officer and a private detective? The badge? Exactly. Apart from that piece of metal, there's nothing that sets us apart. You think so? We're looking for the same thing, you and I. Okay, okay, spare me the next verse. I'll tell you what I know. Oh, hey, there are sailors who think that there's a beast prowling around the docks. And then again, 
These guys panic at the thought of bringing a rabbit onto a boat, so... <laughs> I see. And there are others who would like to use the warehouses for their goods. Who are they? Sorry. I really can't talk about them. So I must have made my eloquence check, but I must have not impaled it, because that was not all the information. But let me just say, in an island this terrible, in a place this awful, what goods do they have to hide? That's the scariest again. part of all. I told you to beat it. No need to get worked up. Oh, all right. He's done with me. I guess if I'm going to want to find my own way into this warehouse, I'm going to have to do it by going around this guy. Yeah, as far as I understand, there is a sanity system in this game, by the way, and uh, you can take a look at it if we go to uh, Pierce's character sheet here and we look at my sanity. Right now, I'm very sane, as you can see. Look at all that locked insanity. <laughs> I'm in great shape. I only have one insanity, and that's my uh, nightmares from my time spent in World War I. So it's all fine. It's fine. Really? Really, you're gonna fish in, in that? All right. Well, you do you, there, buddy. You do you. All right now, I'm just kind of exploring the harbor. This is my first time running around it. It is a uh, a very pleasant place, as you can see. Very nice. Well appointed. Nothing creepy here at all. Everyone scribes indecipherable symbols on top of statues. That's that's normal. It's a normal thing we do. Wait, what the sh Saint Brendan. Patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. Yeah, not a, uh, not a, uh, not a language. That's 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 the language that's in. That's not a, not a language. <laughs> Good Lord. That's fine. This is all fine. This is all great. What could possibly go wrong? Is any ability for me to jump? Instead, I must slowly walk around to all of the nightmarish places. Hey there, degenerate, I guess. Oh, crabs. That's fine. Yeah, this guy looks like he's in good shape. This is going to be a great conversation. I can feel it in here. I can feel it. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? I... We saw what you did to St. Brandon. Yeah, what? we'll teach you to come onto our island and what? ridicule our protectors. I respect your beliefs. Sure. Our beliefs? You mean you don't believe in God? I don't. I... That's irrelevant. That's what you think. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? Oh, boy. The two guys behind you, what are they guarding? The bootleggers? Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. <laughs> I appreciate the fact that these two drunkards are like, 
Those bootleggers, scum, supplying us with all this booze. <laughs> Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Yeah. Nothing at all. No. That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? I... You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. That's the problem Saint with talking Brendan. to drunk people. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Everything's an insult. Till those assholes defaced him. <laughs> yeah. Peculiar house. Yeah, that's where we live. Our boat. That's... It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. No, it's a home in Seattle. That's the only one you can afford, so you you live in a ramshackle ruined boat. Isn't it a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. There's not much work around here. Oh, my trash. Fitzroy gives guys? us a few chores every now and again, but since the whaling station shut down, ain't a lot of jobs left around here. So we drink. All right. I've taken enough of your time. Yeah. We'll you, see you later. You thank you, drunkies. That's nice. You have a very nice house here. Which one of you sleeps under that beam and which one sleeps on the nets? Is it you? I bet you, you sleep on the nets. You look like a net sleeper. Alright. Let's move on. <laughs> Come on, you can tell me. No, if it gets out, I'll have serious problems with you know who. I bet that you hid them somewhere in your hut, on the docks. Not even. And don't go look in there. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Okay. Uh, clues. All right. Guy. No idea. In. You better keep it shut. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? That's we me. We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. I do appreciate uh, them, them calling the drunks soaks. <laughs> I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's going to be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. Oh, well, that is I don't give simple. a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. Now, we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. Oh, well, all right. Well, these guys don't seem very friendly. So, who are you? Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? I'm, I'm Everybody doing it on purpose. knows us on dark water. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. Oh, uh, all I right. went to see the statue of St. Brendan. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? <laughs> they could have done it by themselves. The statue? The sailors. Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? <laughs> That's really interesting. So after having been uh, uh, live for an hour, a Stay Hydrated bot has decided to uh, tell me all about... Uh, uh, Oh, Dan added the Stay Hydrated bot to my channel. That's nice. 
Thank you for reminding me to stay hydrated, Dan. I, uh, am going to, so... Cat, she's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make oh, yeah. two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. Oh, that's not good. But he only smiles means. with the left cheek. <laughs> I bid you gentlemen farewell. I'm not sure I'm quite ready to lie to them. That seems like a good way to end up in a fight. They did mention something hidden over near some shacks, so it does make me wonder if there's something down here for me to investigate now that I wouldn't have otherwise known to look for. Yeah, I am interested to see how Call of Cthulhu translates to a video game. There have been some relatively successful attempts, but I think the hardest part is that um, Call of Cthulhu fundamentally um, hmm. Call there. of Cthulhu fundamentally has a problem uh, in that it works really great as literature because you're basically telling the people to imagine the scariest thing possible because the things are undescribable. That's not true with a video game. You actually have to make it appear. You have to make it manifest. In in that case, most Call of Cthulhu video games go for gross out or scare factor. We'll see how it goes. Hello, old friend. Oh, hey. Liquor. That's important. Cat knows about the thefts from our stock of liquor. She'll soon find out who it is, and I wouldn't like to be in his shoes. Hmm. Interesting. I've now got proof that goon is stealing from his boss. Handy. Well. That should be enough to get me inside, I think. Make sure I can't investigate any more of these. Yep, looks like just the one. To be clear, I have no idea how to put away uh, that particular uh, light. I'm checking my settings now. <laughs> Move, interaction, light, uh, middle mouse button, there it is. First time playing, folks. There we go. Got it. <laughs> so you've stolen some booze. I've got some bad news for you. I'm going to have to ask you to let me inside. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. That's fair. What will Kat say when she finds out that it's you who are filching stock? You've got no proof. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Apart from this... I got you now, suckers. <laughs> you didn't throw it away? I couldn't know that someone was gonna force the lock. What a... So, what is it you want? To get into the Hawkins warehouse. That's all. Go on, then. And we never want to see your rat snout again. Oh, yeah. That's me. Amazing investigator. Yeah, more balls of booze, huh? All right. It's fine. This is all fine. Alright. 
Let's see. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Perfect. This is an absolutely terrible idea. <sighs> Alright, I got this. Ugh, oh, this place stinks. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? That's a, that's a fine question. I've entered something called reconstruction mode. Apparently in this game, one of the elements of cases is that as a private investigator, you can kind of reconstruct events based on the evidence around you. The glass is shattered, like someone smashed it. Was it before or after the removal of these bandages? Oh, that's... Oh, it's the Joker. Oh, all right. That's, that's fine. That makes sense. Yeah. Mystery solved. These painkillers were prescribed three months ago. Someone has been taking them since the time of the Hawkins' death. Oh, all right. Well, that's... That's unusual. Nothing, nothing cr Oh, good. Oh. I can't even, I... Oh. It smells as bad as it looks. Oh, thanks. I'm glad they gave me a tooltip for that. Hey, come look at this. It's it's gross. Can't sleep. I know how that feels. Uh, now we have reached the green tarp. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, that is a delicious barrel of free innards. This trip has already been profitable. I don't know what the problem is. I just got a barrel of free innards. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Oh, I wish I had higher, uh, higher skill checks on some of these things. What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? Like someone was sleeping here. Huh. Someone possibly smashed the window. And someone's been taking painkillers. And someone's been eating these innards! <laughs> Zippo at the very least. This place is far more creepy outside of reconstruction mode. Oh yeah, great. Creepy crates. This place is a real nice summer home. So glad I came here. Someone has settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. What? Is there anyone in there? No. Nope. You! Don't move! Oh, hey. Detective Pierce. I told you to stay away from this warehouse. I, uh... <laughs> Should I threaten him? It seems like a poor idea. This guy looks like he's got a bit of the Innsmouth look. I don't... I don't trust this guy. Look around you. Someone has settled in here. <laughs> Can you explain what this painting is doing it's here? Probably him. This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene. Interesting. Well, I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. 
You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Brother, Come on. Would My you? car's parked down the way. You... you have a car. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. Oh. God damn it. Her again. I'm gonna call this guy Investigator Creepy Face. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. Yeah, I'm Is it far? She's cat. mansion. That's not a shock. Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. Can we get there in your car? You see the building? <laughs> That's the Hawkins Mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Is it on the far side of the harbor? <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a yes. <laughs> so, someone's been squatting in the warehouse, and that someone took artifacts from the burnt out house from where the family died that's not creepy at all it's all fine thank you detective creepy face thanks for the ride yeah no I appreciate that you should would have been better if I turned around and the car was just speeding off. Officer Creepy Face was like, yeah, no, I'm not dealing with this. Well, here we are. Hawkins Mansion. Nice place. Yeah. Yeah, great summer home. Beautiful. The place, place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? Yeah, I have eyes. The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? I, I have other questions, like, what is up with your face? <laughs> He's clearly not doing any gardening. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way, he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? So, yes, this is a Talisker 18. It is a very fine vintage and seemed fitting before I explored all of this very spooky terrain. You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. Oh, good. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Oh, Let's great. go up there. Unless you still have questions. Yeah, I still have questions. I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. Yeah, it's a wise attitude. Useful. <laughs> but apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, 
There's nothing to worry about. Yeah. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Oh, good. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. <laughs> right? <laughs> you ever get that sense that you're just in the warm-up for nightmarish things to happen? Like, I'm just outside the scary mansion, where a bunch of people died in a fire. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins this is case. Not gonna go don't well. think I was trying to hide it. I don't it. have enough scotch for it's this right It's just that this now. discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? Yeah, let's... Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. <laughs> Why not? You can help. Yeah, right. Sure. Come with. Let's go, Officer Creepy Face. You have a creepy face. Why don't you come along? It'll be great. The mansions. The mansions up there. Where? Where are you going? Are oh, we going to talk to Silas? Is that? We're done. All right. Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined. Sixteen ninety three. Yeah, no joke. Her creepy face, this is where you bring me? The graveyard? You jerk! Yeah. Look on, you smug bastard. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. Great. Are they? That's, that's useful to know. Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, Detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? What are you even... Do you know if Charles Hawkins had any enemies? This guy. Not to our knowledge. He was a well-respected personality on the island. I don't understand. Silas would never have let such a thing happen. Yeah, I'm really starting to regret bringing Officer Creepy Face with me. This guy is not helping my chill. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. He had a very fierce belief in not being buried in nightmares. Let's go to the mess. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. Poor what kid. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary? And steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing. Let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above that. Lord, have pity on this poor family. Great. Poor kid. Nothing else creepy around here. You still uh, looking around at weird stuff? You, you good to go, Officer Creepy Face? Or am I supposed to find something else? Caretaker takes great care of these graves. 
Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. Yeah, I know all that. Okay, so you're just gonna stay here now. Okay, great. So I had you escort me so you could take me to the graveyard, and now you're not coming any further. Great. That's... that's perfect. Alright, I'm just gonna continue on by myself then. Officer Creepy Face, that's... that's fine. What could go wrong? I'm... I'm excited about every part of this plan. Game saved. Great. Okay, I suppose is that the main entrance? Is this the carriage house? Oh. Oh, I have a zippo, so. I probably shouldn't burn all the fuel there. This is the sort of game that probably limits the amount of fuel I have. This entrance is still in use. Oh. Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Jesus! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, alright? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them! Dump them into the ocean! Whoa. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. Yeah. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. No, I, I don't. I don't. Uh. You haven't forgiven yourself. You stay here to honor the memory of the deceased. Oh. That's true. <laughs> I want no more violence. No more tragedy. It's painful to be the last one left. You don't know how right you are. Oh, man. Understood. I'm listening. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked, and I make sure it stays that way. The sooner I carry out my investigation, the sooner I wrap up the case and return to Boston. Which is what we After all which, want. You'll never hear of me again. Huh. I like the sound of that, but I have a better idea. You leave right now, and you never come back. Well, you... You do have... What are you doing? Oh, thanks. Officer Bradley, this hood was trying to break into the mansion. Do something, Bradley. Or this story will have a nasty ending. I vouch for him, Silas. He's working with us. We have reason to believe that someone entered the mansion and stole some paintings. Impossible. I would have seen it. Better safe than sorry. Now let us in. I promise to keep an eye on this one. Okay, then. I'll leave the key with you. You could have told me that earlier, Sonny. I tried Let's to. see what more I can learn from this mansion. Dan, I love you, but when you when you say he wants to ask me a question, you've gone too far, my good man. Too far. I know this is not the way I'm supposed to go. I'm just kind of curious as to what's what's over this way. Stairs leading somewhere mysterious. All right, we'll go inside the mansion first. The mysterious stairs can wait until later. Oh. Yes. Shall we enter? Now that you've finished your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. You giving me a You're right. damn time? Let's go. <laughs> you creepy faced bastard. Oh boy. Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. Are ya? 
great. Oh, this is this is gonna be great. I'm this is gonna be perfect. I can't imagine what might go wrong inside the Hawkins mansion. I mean, it it's gonna be fine. I <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <sighs> Uh, the jump scare got me a bit. I'm not gonna lie. That was that that made me twitch. Twitch, get it? Twitch. We're twitch drink. All right, I'm I'm done. I'm done. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> Aw, you fine folks in chat here. You're, you're you're great people. Thanks for thanks for watching me. <laughs> I do appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Follow me. I know the place. Do ya? Who last left time. this light on? I just realized I have investigatorial points to spend. I have four. Let's see here. Always need more spot hidden. Give it a bit more strength. Let's get that eloquence up a couple points. There we are. Up to 50% in each. Alright. Let's see. Back, reset, add, remove, validate. There we are. Yeah, who left all the creepy green lanterns on? Like, where are they getting those? The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? Really? What the ever-loving fuck is that? What were they eating? Let me go into reconstruction mode to find out what their dinner was. Oh good, I can I can do an investigation on it. That's that's good. This roast. What strange creature has flesh like this? Good. They were eating manatee? I'm gonna go with manatee. Giant alien manatee. That's fine. That's yeah, that's fine. This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. So he was down here screaming at the alien pot roast. Alien pot roast. The boy was probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. <laughs> boy, you dropped your alien pot roast on the floor. Somebody's gonna get a whooping. Sarah Hawkins plate. Why did she leave it untouched? <laughs> did you see what something kind of happened it was? at this table? An argument? <laughs> Thanks for attending, Matt. I hope you had a good time. Uh, yeah. Um, the creepy old guy has just left a rotting roast on the table for three months. That's pleasant. What is up with people in this town? Well, there's been a fire. Some people died, so forget it. Again. Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. All right. No one's sure what they cooked. I don't know what that is. That's not meat. It's kind of meat. Oh, and they had a delicious moldy cream sauce. Wait, where'd it go? To bring the fire under control. But it was already too late for the Hawkins. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. <coughs> That's right, everyone. It's time for reconstruction mode.
The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? This is going to be one of those things where I realize that not every body is accounted for. They had a fight. Why? Uh, clearly over the alien pot roast. Because it was gross. Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Well, I mean, look at the look at the painting, dude. <laughs> I mean, paintings like that don't burn. They're too effed up. <laughs> Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? Aren't we all? Stop at the time of the fire. Ten o'clock at night? What could possibly go wrong at ten o'clock at night? It's fine. Sure, there's nothing else. There's clearly something else I'm missing. Oh. Or maybe not. Oh, here it is. Did someone escape the fire? Oh boy. Oh, that's good. Oh, good. Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. Yeah. It's an ordinary fight between spouses. Over. This was a fight. The most swim bladder. Someone fell here. Gross. What the a desperate attempt to flee. So, detective, what do you make of it? Oh, well... How much of an ass do I want to be to Officer Creepyface? Question of the day. I think we want to be an ass. I think that some of your colleagues should turn in their badges. This room is bursting with evidence that <laughs> seriously contradicts the official inquiry. Well, of course, Mr. Holmes. Like what? <laughs> I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. <laughs> I'm going to need to become one of the Hawkins. Wait, what? <laughs> I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. Really? You're the worst. This door is locked. Great. 
This is all going to be great. Yeah. Who else? Ah. Is that a rat? I'm assuming that's a rat. There we go. More medicine skill. Thank you for the book. It's nice. Appreciate that. Officer Creepy Face. Excuse me? Officer Creepy Face? Where'd you, uh. Where'd you. Where'd you go? <sighs> this door is blocked from the outside. Oh, that's the main entrance. Okay. Alright. Nothing unusual here. The lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. So if it's all been locked, who's, who's been getting in here? Who's been, uh, who's been making their way inside? I'm, I'm, this is not cool. I'm not a fan of this. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Dated 1818. Well, that's... okay. Uh, oh, great. So there is a limit to how long you can use that. It eventually gets hot and you have to put it out. What? What? Okay. Um... Not... not cool. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Yeah. Okay. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. <laughs> now we know what did it. He read Moby Dick. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. Wow, these guys do not do good paintings. I don't know who the artist was in this family, but they were not very good. This place was falling apart long before the fire. Yeah, it's almost like it was a family who killed each other. Okay, well... A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles's inheritance. Mm -hmm. If you're right, we should be able to find clues among the Hawkins' personal effects. Great. So that's somewhere in here. Maybe. medicine for me. That's, that's fine. Dark water history. This place was settled back in 1692 by two families that seceded from the New England colonies. Yeah, that's always a good sign. Bunch of families who are like, yeah, your colonies are too strict. We want to go worship our heathen gods out in the woods. Fantastic. A book on hunting whales. The island's staple diet last century. Who the hell has been keeping these lanterns lit? One of Sarah Hawkins' paintings. Her style sure is recognizable. I always keep my paintings next to my human skull paperweights. My busts of creepy dudes. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. Well, 
Good to collect books, I guess. A book on hunting whales, the island's staple diet last century. Oh boy, this place is not pleasant to explore. What could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? Dear sir, as you know, I have always held you and your family in highest respect. Unfortunately, I can no longer continue to close my eyes on the behavior of your wife. Last week, she again terrified my clientele. I know that she means you no harm. <laughs> Assuming that they have <laughs> Boston Far Harbor accent. Uh, but you should place her in the care of Dr. Fuller. He alone seems able to make her come to her senses. If the disturbance were to recur, believe me, that although I would feel like torture, I would be obliged to involve the police. Uh, interesting. Looks like the wife had problems. Oh, that lightning effect is delightful. I can't help but notice that, uh... Hey, hey, rat. Oh, good. Oh, good. That's perfect. That's perfect. Nope. <laughs> nope. All right. There we go. Okay. That's better. That's that's better. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Locked. Of course. Oh, great. The kids' room. The boys' room. Yeah. Great. Let's reconstruct the boys' room. What could go wrong? A child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Oh, I think you know. I think you know. Tom Sawyer, Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. <sighs> Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11 year old boy. What was wrong with this family? vision could have inspired them. Uh -uh. Mm. Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. Yeah. Great. Yeah, just the kid. It's just terrifying the kid. Great. And those are good. Wait. Why are the... Well, that's not... What will her room reveal about her? A 
Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. Can, can I have those? Like... Yeah, let me look under her bed in that Call of Cthulhu adventure. What could possibly go wrong? Hmm. That is not the first time I have seen nightmarish things like this drawn in this house. <laughs> not. No. Uh uh. These people need help. This padlock is too complicated for me. Oh, good. A barbiturate prescription from a certain Dr. Fuller. Uh -huh. Great. That's a massive dose. Was Sarah violent? Um, probably, to be honest. Let's go. Oh, good. There's another floor. This door is locked. Oh, boy. Well, I found a key, so... Oh, it goes to this door. What the shit? Okay, well, there's that. That's less good. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so rule number one, don't step in the circle. I've played enough D&D to know that that's a terrible idea. <laughs> Not happening. Oh, great. The easel broke the circle. Good job. Good Despite job. what happened, they seem to have loved each other. <laughs> so, I've left you this love letter in my creepy uh, office with the weird uh, magic circle on the floor, but don't worry. We clearly love each other. A family that summons together stays together. It's true. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. Uh, okay. One of them was returned. One of them is listed as treatment. That's interesting. What was that? I'm not sure if the if you guys on the stream can hear that, but it sounded like there was a knocking of some sort. That's not cool. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Oh, magnifying glass. Always useful. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. That's right, I'm leaving all of your drawers open. Take that. Creepy bastards. Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. My very dear Sarah, ever since you left to bury yourself away on that lost island, your art has been attracting increasing numbers of collectors. I beg you to send me some new paintings, the last ones so somber and strange, moving as no other paintings have been, are selling at a premium price. Your percentage of these most recent sales is attached. Do not forget your friend, who was the first to recognize your genius and display it to the world. Affectionately yours. Huh. 
Injured artist moves to island, stops making paintings. Instead, draws unholy symbols on the floor. Okay, sure. All normal here. Whoa. That's... Have they thought about getting Sarah some additional art classes? Because... Damn. Did you hear that? Wait, where'd you go? Get back here. What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles's inheritance. If you're right, we should be able to find clues among the Hawkins' personal effects. This place was falling apart long before the fire. Must be some places I have yet to explore fully. Oh yes, yeah, back here. These bandages are covered in dried blood. The same bandages that I saw in the warehouse on the docks. And given the blood stains, I'd also say that it's the same person. That's great. So odds are that the creepy person No, that's that's fine. Yeah. I, I why why would any of this go wrong? I'm sure it's nothing creepy down this long mysterious hallway. That's all fine. It's all fine here. This door is locked. Uh, am I the only person that's a little satisfied, a little relieved when the door is locked? Oh, well, that's a place I can't go. I'm sure it's fine. Let's move on. <laughs> Charles and Sarah's wedding is painted by Sarah herself. Great. That's... that's great. Okay. Too much rubble. I'll find an easier way. Was Charles Hawkins some kind of explorer? Oh. This is called Cthulhu. Explorers never have it go well for them. Like, ever. Exploring. This door is locked. Yeah, that's still locked. All right. <laughs> yeah, these two had a very special uh, type of relationship that involved them uh, 
creepily sending each other love letters and summoning demons. The love for the ages. More like the strange eons. The love for the strange eons. Lyrics of the Drunken Sailor, a yeah. sea shanty. Found you already. You're locked. Is there something up the stairs I missed? Paintings of Tom. Can't actually make my way up the stairs. There is something I am missing. Oh, great. Come on, fire. I need you. Original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Yeah, I know. Dated 1818. Did you hear that? A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. I feel like I'm missing something, I just don't know where. So interestingly enough, back when I was in this area, the clue icon appeared as if I was close, and I was just missing something. See? Just keyed in. Crowbar could prove useful. Ah, could prove quite useful. There's a number of doors I can't seem to open. Well, let's go take a look now and see if I can't open up some doors. Clearly, that was the thing I was missing. Listen, don't feel bad for Officer Creepy Face. This door is locked. That guy has a creepy face. Yeah. We'll die soon, and that's okay, because he's kind of terrifying. <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion this crowbar is going to open up one of the doors upstairs that I was unable to open. Hey there, officer. I'm just going to go break a door down or two. Never mind me. What could possibly go wrong? None of this is good. I shouldn't be here. I should go back to Boston. I should give up on this incredibly stupid misadventure. This door is locked. Yeah. Can I use a piece of inventory?
Is there a way to use items? Let me see. Let me go back into the controls. Interact, light, next light, previous light, shoot. Lean forward, diary access. Okay, well, it doesn't really look like it. This door is locked. Yeah, that it is. Ah. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? What was she trying to achieve? The big giant bloodstained circle. Oh, I don't know. Probably just trying to look for better car insurance rates with Geico. The door is blocked on the other side. Bradley? Is that you? Okay. All, all right. Bradley? Bradley? Bradley. What the shit was that? What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles' inheritance. Uh... Okay. <laughs> I like how there was a scary noise and I immediately just ran away. I was just like, nope, and just noped right out. I just noped right on out. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, come on now. That's... that's not cool. <laughs> Why'd the door open? Okay. Is anyone there? No. Just check that door. I just checked it. This is not okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to feel like I might be the red shirt. Nope. 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 That's not cool. <laughs> no. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't. You. Stop. Get back here. I got some cultist punching to do. Bradley, did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. Dude, dude. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. I'll cover you. Will you? I don't think you This will. door was closed earlier. Where did he go? Consult diary. Not time for that. 
It looks like an old seaway map. Okay, yeah. Routes for the various boats. Nothing written on the back. Yeah, thanks for joining. Do you really think that your fugitive came in here? I don't see any way out. This globe seems to have been part of some mechanism. Looks like it worked. Oh, all right. I just kind of guessed on that one. Well done, Pierce. Yeah. Thanks, Officer. Good Clearly, days. Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. Yeah, and whoever this is who doesn't have eyes. Or maybe those are just sunglasses. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. Oh, good. All right. Probably another friend of Hawkins. It looks like a freehand map of dark water. Certain really? areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. That is a pretty lousy map. The Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. This panel is movable. Cogwheels. They must be linked to an opening mechanism. Probably a secret passage. Yeah, I, think I must find a way to activate the opening mechanism. Oh, all right. <laughs> I'd be better off not touching them. Yeah, I think I've already got it from the other thing. It's just multiple different ways to progress the story, I think. Alright. So I've already opened that, so, I mean, you know. Seems like this came from a log. Uh... Sacred beasts. Defy the gods. Great. Huge whale. Oh, I bet you this is the them catching the Almighty. Or their super monster catch. Yeah, it looks like it is. There must be a link with the Seaway map. Chapter 4 here this evening. Oh boy. This has been a blast, but it is getting very late and it makes me wonder whether or not this is a good pause point before I start traveling into a bunch of tunnels along with Officer Creepy Face. <laughs> Letting it load up here just to make sure I'm not in the middle of a cutscene. Let's see. Yeah, the mansion is mostly a kind of a point-and-click affair, wandering around looking for clues, putting together bits and pieces, but uh, I did not expect to find some sort of weird masked cultist in the uh, area Secret upstairs. passage, under the manor. It's like a detective novel. Great. I think, at this point in time, we're going to go ahead and call that a night. I've had enough jumps for one evening, and this tunnel looks like it could be an entire another chapter. So instead of going into the early, early hours of the morning, I think this is where I'm going to call it a close tonight. I want to thank everybody for coming and watching me play Call of Cthulhu this evening. I have really enjoyed it. I will do this again sometime soon. Uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter. Uh, that's Twitter backslash Jason Bullman here on Twitch, twitch.tv backslash Jason Bullman, or on Facebook facebook.com backslash Jason Bowman. And if you missed part of this broadcast, I'll upload the whole thing on my YouTube channel. You guessed it. YouTube backslash Jason Bowman. 
here sometime in the coming days. So thanks for watching, everybody. You guys have yourself a good evening. Try not to read any strange eldritch tomes before bed. I know I have problems with that on a regular basis. Thanks for watching. See you later.